Hey, I'm Bryce Dallas Howard, and here are some moments that have defined my career so far. Why can you not say what is in your head? Getting to do The Village was pretty awesome. M. Night Shyamalan, I've always been really into him. I remember watching all of the DVD extras for his movies and I would see like all the behind the scenes stuff. He was approaching filmmaking in a way that was very youthful and fresh. I mean, he was in his 20s when he did Sixth Sense and I'll never forget this. This was a really weird kind of crazy thing where I was, I was performing on stage and I saw him in the audience, and I recognized him because of the DVD extras, like the behind the scenes of Unbreakable, seriously. I was like, oh my gosh, that's M. Night Shyamalan. But he ended up waiting after the show and, and introducing himself, and I was like, oh my gosh, and got to meet him. And then three weeks later, he reached out to my reps, and he was like, I'd like to go to lunch with Bryce. And I had no idea what it was for, obviously secretly hoping. And midway through lunch, he had a manila envelope and he, he slid it over to me and he was like, I don't know how to say this, but I want you to be the lead in my next movie. I went home to my apartment and my then boyfriend, now husband, I opened it and he read it over my shoulder and he was crying. Like I was totally in shock and he was so emotional throughout. He was like, this is an incredible scene. I'll do whatever it takes to protect our children. The help was an amazing experience overall. Like it's kind of one of those idyllic filmmaking experiences where we loved the book, uh, we loved each other, we were in Greenwood, Mississippi. But the thing that I think was most remarkable about The Help was the leadership that, that we got in particular from Viola Davis and Octavia Spencer when it came to the subject matter and really educating all of us as to this time period and what the experience was like during that time and how it was a very different experience for white people than it was for people of color, like very, very, very different. And that was something that all of us in the cast who didn't have that education, we were so grateful for that and we were so grateful that they they really took the time to do that. Two starts. Two stars? I had so much fun doing Black Mirror. And that subject matter in Nosedive, it, I mean, it's about basically the nosedive that we are all experiencing collectively as a society now that social media is such a huge part of our lives and you know we don't really fully know how to navigate it. And usually it ends up in each one of us individually having going through some kind of existential crisis. And now people come up to me constantly and they're just like, it's real life, like nosedive. It's like, it's real life. Like we're living in a black mirror world. And I'm like, I know, I know. I don't know what to do about it. Colin, who wrote and directed the first Jurassic World, he reached out to me. And so by no means did I expect that I was gonna get a part, you know, in this like huge movie. And then a couple weeks later he called me and he was like, I'm calling from the top of a mountain in Hawaii. And, you know, I kind of wrote this part for you and and we all feel like you're really right for it, and, and so we would like to offer it to you. I guess there's maybe an assertive side of my personality that resonated with him and that was maybe kind of foundational in terms of the character. It's amazing to get to be a part of this saga. Also, it's just, they're really fun movies, and I've got kids. Now, when I'm like, oh, I'm going to work, and they're like, no, and I'm like, yeah, but it's, but it's with a velociraptor, and they're like, Mm, can you take a picture? <laughs> it's so much more fun getting to be a part of something that you know is gonna resonate with your kids and your kids' friends and yeah, fun for the whole family.